and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Ashiok Mill. That's right, we're going mono blue mill in Brawl here with special guest, friend of the stream, Puppy. This is my dog. Her name's Puppy. She's just a little puppy. And she's amazing. Um, she's kind of camera shy, but she decided to come join us here for a little bit at least. Um, uh, but yeah, what we're doing here is we're playing uh, Mono Blue Mill over in Brawl. We're going to try this out. So these people playing Golos, trying to search their library and everything. Brawl is just a, a slower format. You get 25 life instead of 20. Um, the, the draws are inconsistent because it is singleton. Um, so it's so it's a little bit of a slower format. So we're going to try to attack their library, which starts at 60 cards instead of their life total, which starts at 25 um, by having a card like Ashiok. So this could be pretty fun. Let's give let's give it a try here, pups. All right, so we're going to uh, go. Wait, where do we go? Brawl launch event. And we're gonna try Ashiok Mill. Okay, here we go. Yeah, special guest. Special guest puppy. She she runs so fast and runs everywhere. She's always jumping around, like always like and everything. Like she's she's got tons of energy, except for whenever she's here on stream. When she's like in this room. She acts like she's like getting punished or something. <laughs> she's just because she's usually not allowed in this room ever, because this is Hawkeye's room. And so she she thinks that she's just like so calm and and everything. She's like, why am I in here? I'm supposed to I'm not supposed to be in here. Oh, puppy. But yeah, you love on on the Patreon page the the, the picture of puppy running. That's it's right next to my driveway. The road next to my driveway. What model red? What? We have to face model red. Yeah, I need to get some doggo emotes. For sure. Land. Ugh. Puppy, sit up. Ugh. See, Agar Bolas looks like a good blocker if we... Agar Bolas looks like a good blocker. We draw some lands. Yay. Good job, pup. Good job, puppy. Um. All right, so their life total is 44, mine's 21. Crinkle. Ugh, puppy, where are you going? <laughs> She's so camera shy. Um, I 
think we have to keep counter magic up. I would I would like to play Ashiok, but I think we should keep up counter magic. <laughs> Whoops. It's all good, Yud. Alright, no running away with this game, Steamkin. Okay, they're down to 39. I'm at 20. No, I didn't I didn't purchase the my little pony sleeves. Yeah, doggo. This is my dog puppy. Ooh, essence capture sh could be good. Consider this bridge. All right, they're down to thirty-one. Remember I'm still at nineteen. Your nightmares remain. My prowess is unmatched. By me. I have just the trick for this. Ooh, these are good. These are good. Your 3 0 with versus Oko with Demir Control. Good job, Kenpachi. Hawkeye's still here. He's just he's just over on the bed. He's laying down. Um So they're at 30, I'm at 19. Meditate and prepare. So I wanted to set up set it up so that I'm revealing the drown secrets, I'm drawing the counter spell revealing the drown secrets I off of my Narset. Oh, yep. That's that's a good call. We did it, puppy. Mill beat mono red. I mean, our hand was awesome. I don't think my opponent's hand was as good. Man, if Mill can beat Mono Red and Brawl, Mill can beat everything. We can beat anything, puppy. <laughs> Torbrand didn't say please, so Todd drowned his secrets. <laughs> That's pretty good. Braska, that's a new commander. I haven't played against Braska before. I do not know track team. I do not know. If the if they're for a limited time, the extra life sleeves. 
I would assume they are. I mean, all the stuff's for a limited time. I just don't know for how long, I guess. That's that's really the better answer there. I think they're, they're definitely for a limited time, but I don't know for how long. Um... Yeah, this is Puppy. I've had her for, for years, honestly. Huh. She's the best. But this is usually Hawkeye's room. Puppy doesn't usually get to join here. <laughs> she is, she's so camera shy. What are you doing, Puppers? Quench. Alright, so they're down to 39. I'm still at 25. 38. Their life total is dropping by the draw step. Um... Oh my gosh, why did I counter that? I have Ashiok in play. That card didn't even do anything. I had Ashiok. Anyway, sorry. Names, to answer your question there, names. Um, yes. Yeah, I, I have had a uh, fan recognize me in public before. It was, it was cool. <laughs> yeah, if your commander dies, you get to play the commander again. Uh, the commander costs two additional mana, though. So as you see here with Vraska, see it says four red, four black green. Yeah, puppy, I just wasted a counter spell. Yeah, at least, at least that card's just exiled instead of being, you know, being like a seven mana beanstalk that could play later. So I guess it's not complete waste. I could have just cast the perception during my turn to hit another land drop, and still have disdainful stroke open, and then I would have been able to scry. Also, probably should have just done that. Yeah, that's that's this format is Highlander. That's just what the format is.
<laughs> uh, I mean, I guess I, sh I should have done that first and then mill, but yeah, you're doing so well with missing one color. <laughs> yeah, I know our our blue black Ashiok deck. We're getting we're getting color screwed over here. These two cards look kind of cool together. Yeah, this we have dispersal. That's that's what I got for black in the deck. Behold nature's true power. So they're at nineteen. With this arcane signet coming in clutch. Oh yeah, get rid of that shifting ceratops. Remember your nightmares. Alright, so they're down to 14. I'm still at 25. They haven't dealt any damage to me. Their life total has gone down quite a bit though. Fourteen cards left. This one's looking pretty good for us. I think we got this one, Peps. Sure, you want to draw more cards? It's fine with me. That's fine with me. Fear, and I mean, this just lowers their life total. Anger only gets it says, whenever a non-token non creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on it and lose a, lose a life. That's what it says. Put a plus one, plus one counter on it and lose a life. And this just says, tap, add GG. Like, that's, there's no additional text. There. They're down to nine. <laughs> Hawkeye's looking weird tonight. Yeah, this is puppy. These are good puppers. Hawkeye's a dog for Halloween. All right, they're down to six. <laughs> it's, it's all good, Goat. Yeah, no, yeah, we... I mean, Nicol Bolas... I mean, I... I didn't play well against... with Nicol Bolas. I didn't. Like, the fourth game was very, very winnable. And, like, Not I definitely should have won. I just made a lot of mistakes. I lost my <laughs> Who's going to win? The Golgari Swarm or the Wall?
Can't get past the wall. Who does that Midnight Reaper look like? The Night King? See, puppy, that's a Game of Thrones reference. No pen. Yeah, no, Puppy is so shy. Like, I, I could never get her to sit, sit this still, like, any other time. Like, I, I go, like, during the day, I always go outside with the dogs for a while. Puppy and Harvey. It's the other dog's name's Harvey. And, you know, I'll, I'll sit out there, and Puppy sometimes will jump up on my lap, but she'll never be this still ever. Just have to put her here. She's probably kind of confused because, you know, I'm talking so much. So I don't talk very much when I'm not on stream. She probably thinks that something... Something's wrong. Harvey, Harvey's bigger. I'm gonna mulligan. I don't think those cards help us too much. Yeah, I do. Furious Red. I have two dogs, Puppy and Harvey. Harvey's bigger, so it's hard. It's hard to, like, yeah. She's not really a lap dog, and also Harvey was in an accident before. And only has, I guess we're just going Signet. Harvey was in an accident before. She just has three legs. So she, so she doesn't, doesn't move around the, the best. But she does a pretty good job, though, still. I guess I'm going to just lose to Teferi. My whole deck's based around counter magic. This isn't a fight you can win. Here we go. So this won't be able to counter anything. Trust me, I have a plan. Honestly, I should be discovering here first to try to look for a land drop. I should discovery first. That's more like it. Those wow, that hurts. Keep an open mind. So we got a blue mirror here. They get to play instance. I don't. Not exactly fair. I train every day. No one is more prepared than me for thoughtfulness before action. Yeah, them having Teferi and Narset, oh, no, I, I don't, right. I don't really see how I'm winning. I can't cast, I can't cast any instants, and I can't draw cards. Like those are like the only two things my deck does: is draw cards and play instants. I've got it. So I, I don't, I don't really know how I'm supposed to try to win this at all. Just the trick for this. Oh, 
Like, those are actually really good. I mean, this one's really good. Hmm. So I was planning on doing that and then going Bond of Insight. I really hope they negate this. No. Oh, I was really hoping they were going to negate that. Well, darn. Yeah, I just don't I don't feel like playing black for planeswalker removal, but yeah, I mean I definitely could. Here goes nothing. Charn sleep is creature removal. Alright, they got Jace. Alright, they're the anti Ashiok deck. They got me. Anti Ashiok deck there, puppy. Yeah, I mean the Jace the Jace just wins the game on the spot. Should Oko be banned? Um, I really don't like banning stuff, but it's it's hard to say that. I mean, I just wish that card wasn't printed. Like it's it's so obvious that, that card shouldn't have been printed. I'm saying it like ever since it was printed, that second plus one ability. I guess there's only one plus one ability, but that plus one ability is completely absurd. So, I mean, I, I think Standard would be a better format without it in it. So, I guess that means that it should be banned. I don't... There's there's so many bad things about banning a card, though. There's so many bit bad um, side effects to, to banning a card. So, I don't like just... Just automatically just saying it needs to be banned kind of thing. I would personally enjoy Magic more if it was not in it. I'd like, you know, per, per, I would enjoy Standard more if Oko was not a card. So I would, I would enjoy Standard more if it was banned. But there's, I understand the... Negative effects it has on people that have been purchasing, that purchased... Okos and everything to be able to play. It's a really good hand for our opponent. I mean, I know I'm playing against a Judith, so I know I'm playing against a Rakdos Aggro. I think I should have mulliganed my hand that I didn't have anything to do on turn two. I was on the draw. That should just be a mulligan. I was kind of thinking about, like, the Oko question instead, but I should have mulliganed this. I mean, that's just a, that's a, just a bad excuse on my part, also. to draw like bounce spells and counter magic and my, my hand's just horrific i 
All right. Lesson learned. We're learning lesson. You get free mulligans. Pay attention to what your opponent's commander is because you, you get all that information before you make your mulligan decision. And you get a free mulligan. You say, in paper, you have no sympathy for people who purchase expensive cards at risk of it being banned. But what about all, like, the tournaments that there are? Like, there there are, there are, have been plenty of, of paper tournaments, and people want to try to win them, and so they want to ha give themselves the best chance of winning. And so they buy Okos. That's really expensive. I certainly feel bad for the, for those people. Because what are you supposed to do? Just not not spend a lot of money on the best cards so then, then just not give yourself the best chance to try to win the tournament you're going to be playing in? The thing about Oko is that even if it's banned in standard, it's... it's the, like the, the saving grace with Oko, basically, is Oko is, is so incredibly strong that... Even if you ban it in standard, it's going to see a lot of play in the other formats. You know, we already see it in modern a bunch. It's it's good enough for all the other formats. So I I honestly don't think that the price is going to drop too much on that card, honestly, because it's still just in demand for the other formats. So it's it's kind of like when like Jace the Mind Sculptor was I don't know 60, 70, 80, I mean maybe even close to $100 while it was in standard. And it was banned, and it went down immediately, of course, whenever it's banned, because people panic sell, all that kind of stuff. But it was still in standard and still worth, you know, like, I don't, I don't remember exactly what, but probably like around $50 or so, even though it was on the ban list, because people just need them for all the other formats. Did not find a three mana counter spell. So I'm not doing anything at all this turn. But I'm showing I'm showing strength. Never mind. <laughs> Let's say I was I was trying to show strength and trying to keep my opponent from casting anything. And trying to make them scared. That is true that Jace was banned after World Wake was out of print. That is true. If they ban Oko now, it's, you know, a month and a half. Like, by the next BNR, it'd be the, like a month and a half after it was printed, basically. That is a difference. Through this land, we are all connected. The land fights for us. Hmm. Alright, well, wrong decision. Should have taken Devious Cover up. You cannot. You. Somebody said you can ban Oko for paper formats and then adjust it for, you know, like errata it for digital formats. That's that's not something you can do because then people like you can't have two different formats like that. Because then people trying to, you know, trying to test and play play Magic for you know upcoming tournaments, they just can't can't do it because there are. Because, you know, it's just a completely different format having a 
a card like that that's legal in one and not legal in another. Yeah, it's, it's very obvious that second ability needs to be a minus. I, I have no idea how they could think that it, it should have been a plus. I don't know if that was a typo. Or, I, I don't know. I'm dumbfounded. It's, it was very obvious that it should be a minus ability. Yeah, I have like dispersal counter spell, but they just have too many three threes. I took the wrong counter spell. Couldn't deal with Nissa at all. Yeah, I agree with the Royal Scions also. I I don't know why three mana planeswalkers need to have only plus abilities and also start at six loyalty. Haha. <laughs> Opponent doesn't like the Ashiok. I'm counting that as a win. That's an opponent knowing that Ashiok's gonna wreck him and just conceding. All right, a Johnny. Free mulligans. Use them. Tithe taker is annoying. It's gonna be it's gonna be annoying. How long have I been playing? I, I basically say World Wake. I I've been playing I played like a little bit like whenever I was younger, but really like getting into it and playing seriously and everything has been since World Wake. Three mana quench? Wow, that card looks bad. Yeah, we got Puppy here joining us. Yeah, no, Puppy's just really camera shy. Yeah, she's very camera shy.
So I want to I want to use mobilize district to block. Can I? I guess I can't even do that, can I? I guess this thing costs five to activate because of Tithe Taker. This Tithe Taker has been really problematic. That card doesn't do anything. Oh, they're just going to make... Just going to make tokens. I can do I can do third slot ripper. Um, somebody else already donated for the last slot tomorrow. But I I can I'll I can move yours to third. All right, we're gonna play one more. I'm gonna go put Puppy back. I'm gonna ref refocus. We're gonna play one more tonight. All right, come on, pup. <laughs> she's she's all excited. All right, you can go back to the living room. Yes. I seem to always get Puppy whenever I'm wearing a black shirt too. So much dog hair everywhere now. I'm gonna have to clean that up after this. Okay. Let's play one more. Oh, Cyrix, we just played you? GG's. GG's. That Tithe Taker shut me down pretty good. Please be on the play. You've been seeing us us on the draw. Gosh, we're on the draw still again here. Us on the draw has, has just been pretty slow. Wait, Ripper. Okay. So... Ripper, every every slot is available except for fourth slot tomorrow. Fourth slot fourth slot tomorrow is the only spot that I have a deck. So it can be so you can have any other slot that you want besides fourth slot tomorrow. So what what would you like? I just felt like making a mono blue, having like really good mana base with mono blue and stuff. But yeah, 
Demir is probably... I mean, you know, Demir, you get a lot of good removal and stuff, and, and I don't have any. Okay, third slot Wednesday? Okay. So not Tuesday. Okay, so Wednesday. Wednesday third. All right. I got you down there, Ripper. You're good. I don't care about that too much. Look at that cloud can see her. It's so tiny. <laughs> More puppers. So I got five mana. So I can Ashiok plus Essence Capture. They have a spell. I don't get to counter it anymore, though. But I guess I don't. I don't have any counter spells for spells. So here we go. That's not good for me. That they did. They did not put a land into play. So that means they got all spells over there. I must go. I want them to have more lands, less spells. That card's probably going to be annoying to deal with. All right, Ashiok. Finish four and four. Okay, so there's our Ashiok mill deck. So the so it worked okay. Um, it did, it did look like Mono Blue was kind of tough at times against aggro decks. You know, like we don't have sweepers. We don't have uh, good card removal, anything like that. So Ashok was, like the Mono Blue was was pretty tough at time. Um, yeah, Real Fear, check, check those out right there. I'd recommend reading through all those articles if you need some good articles to read on general strategy for deck building. The, just look at the level one course there. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so Mono Blue, you know, like, our, our mana was good, you know, like, that was, that was one thing that was really nice, you know, like, we never had to worry about tap lands, we never had to worry about taking damage from our lands, like, all of that was really nice, but then, of course, you know, we sacrificed to go to removal, um, and everything like that. Um, I put together Ashiok because of playing against a whole lot of Golos and Niv-Mizzet, um, those five-color commanders yesterday, whenever we played those... We played Brawl here. We played against those five color commanders all the time. Um, and, you know, like they're slower decks that they rely on having a lot of card advantage and everything. And so that's why I thought Ashiok attacking their, their library would be a good way to, to beat up on those decks. We didn't play against those decks very much today, though. But um, still, we see with Brawl, with the, the slower format, attacking their library is a pretty good option there. All right, but that's Ashiok. Hey, what's up, Wild BTK? Thank you so much for that sub there. Oh, and that gets us our sub goal tonight. 
gets us to 10. Thanks, Wild BTK. All right, that means that we're doing a 12 hour stream here pretty soon. Because I believe that's the last sub goal that we needed for a 12 hour stream. We'll go ahead and check that. Um, but I guess to finish up here with Ashiok, um, if you're watching the if you're watching the deck later on YouTube, uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. I would really appreciate that. And also, of course, leave some comments. Let me know what you think about Brawl. Uh, you know, best of one decks, all that kind of stuff. Just always enjoy the comments. So please uh, leave some comments over there too. All right, but that's it here for Ashiok Mill. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.